Hey, it is She Writes Well Too, and I am back with another blog. Quick post, quick post. Um, ladies, especially black women, note to self, note to black women, note to any woman for that matter, but I'm talking to me, so I'm talking to you. Um, black women, I don't know who told us this or who ingrains this in our mind from like little girls that we are supposed to help build a man. Okay, stop investing all of your money, all of your time, all of your resources into men, specifically black ones, that are not willing to give you the same investment. Why are you sitting here taking every dime that you have and spending it on somebody that you can't even ask for $2? You couldn't even ask him for a ride to work. You couldn't even ask him to feed you or your children, in fact, if you were hungry. You couldn't even ask him for um, $5 to get a sandwich or just a place to stay for the night if you need it. So ladies, just stop over investing financially into men and these men are not reciprocated. I don't know what this is. This could be just an issue abroad with relationships, but I've noticed it with black men because I tend to have dated more black men than I have any other race of men, although I've dated white, Hispanic, etc., all kinds. But I just noticed this with black men. It's just like no reciprocity. It's more like that's just a negative word. Ladies, I've been through this more often than you can believe and I'm sure you have also. We have to stop as black women feeling like we have to go to the ends of the earth and to hell and back for these black men that are just going to be ungrateful and at the end of the day tell you that it wasn't enough and you probably will hear also that you didn't give them enough time to rise to the level to become the man that you needed. And why is it we always need to help support black men financially anyway? I've never been in a relationship with a black man that I can count that I've ever asked to borrow money from or asked to pay for anything for me. Um, if they did, it was more like pulling teeth to even get me to ask them to pay for anything, which I don't mind paying for some things if it's, you know, if I feel like I could come to you if I'm in need. But if you're like most black men, um, they can ask you for money, but you can't ask them for anything. Anytime you ask for something, it's, oh, I'm broke. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I have to pay this bill. Oh, I didn't get paid this week. Oh, well, you know I'm struggling. It's, it's these millions and millions of excuses that they give you, excuse me. But we have to stop building men because it's like, for some reason, as black women, when we help build black men, that favor is just never returned. And me personally, ladies, if you're going to keep on building men, all you're going to do is build him up to be with the next woman. So I'm supposed to struggle with you and be with you when you're at the sucky job and you hate your life and you have no motivation, you don't have any drive, you don't have any passion or zest or, or zeal or, you know, zhuzh or anything to make you want to get up and go and press forward. I mean, your friends don't make you do that. Your family doesn't make you do that even in sometimes cases your children don't even motivate you to do that so ladies ask yourself if he can't be motivated by his close friends or family then what do you think that you are going to do or whatever money that you're scraping together just to make him happy uh for the moment is going to do so ladies stop investing and stop building men if you sit here and you build a man all he's going to do is treat you as the mothering factor and when he gets on his feet and he gets that job and he gets the money and he gets his body right and he feels great about himself he's gonna say thank you and he's gonna walk right down the street and go ahead and be with the woman that he really wants so ladies if you're going to build someone build yourself don't build a man just so that you can build him up to be with his next wife since she's probably going to be stringing you along at this point this is She Writes Well too. Black ladies, we got to start thinking about ourselves a little bit harder. I'm signing off.